Okay, guys, Little Miss No More Hauls has a problem. <clears throat> so, okay. I'm going to be honest. I got paid and then I got my stimulus and then I got my tax refund and I'm going to get paid again next week because I get paid bi-weekly. So... I, no, wait a minute. No, first I got my tax refund and then I got my stimulus. So I got paid. I got my tax refund. I got my stimulus and I'm going to get paid again. So I had this kind of sudden influx of cash that I guess all of us had. I went ahead and paid off uh, all of my credit card debt. Actually, I didn't really have that much. I would say about $1,000-ish spread out over like the PayPal credit, the PayPal MasterCard. Um, a little bit on tour that had been paid off already. A little bit on Lane Bryant, that too had already been paid off mostly. And then Capital One and I think eBay. But it's all paid off now, so that feels good. All of my afterpays and Klarna's, those are paid off. So now I can actually start moving my money towards savings, which is a lot better than moving it towards paying debt. I'll say that. So, okay, that being said, I went ahead and ordered a pretty big chunk of my daughter's summer wardrobe. Sure, he took some of it upstairs from Target. I got her, because Justice is no more, unfortunately. So I went ahead, but I found out Forever 21 has a girl section, so we're gonna check that out. But, okay, I got her some shorts. I got her three pairs of denim shorts and then one pair of like pull-on shorts. And then I got her some t-shirts and things like that, you know. And then I got her a bathing suit. This time it's a tankini and, you know, swimsuit bottoms and a coverall, like a, you know, like a little caftan. And some flip-flops and sunglasses. And I think I got her a hat too, but I cannot remember but I got her some things for the beach, basically, in summer. Because it's already middle March. Global warming has it so that it stays a little bit cooler. Like, it cools down later and it stays cooler longer. Or later, I guess. So, it's springtime, but it still feels a little bit like winterish. But, maybe like in a couple months it's going to warm up again. So, she'll be ready. Okay. Babylon. So anyway, so I went ahead and I ordered her from stuff for her from Target and then I my order I actually let me start. This is the rest of her Target order. It all came in a bunch of different little packages like the bathing suit, the shorts, and like a t-shirt. It all came in different little packages and I'm like that's such a waste why they do that but whatever okay so let's see what I got oh I actually I got some more hangers to hang up all for new clothes not that we need them but I don't like not having hangers oh I didn't get her a hat I guess okay but I did get her sunglasses okay so are the things that I got her. I got her some t-shirts. The other one, she already took them upstairs, so I'm not going to have to bring them down there. But they're from Cat and Jack. I thought this was cute. You know, just like easy to wear t-shirts for like summer and stuff. But this one, I like this one, tie-dye. It came in other colorways, but I like this one best. And then I got her some growing up underpinnings, undershirts, you know. And then these are the pull-on shorts that I got her. Oh, we're still missing stuff then. We're still missing like two more pairs of denim shorts. But I got her some simple pull-on shorts just to wear. She is long and thin, so that's great. And then I got her these cute sunglasses for summertime. Or when we go to the beach. I thought these are cute. Cat and Jack. How do these come off? I think you need scissors. I don't have scissors on me. Just something to go with her swim 
suits and stuff when we go to the beach. How the heck is this supposed to come off? Uh, okay. Uh, we'll figure it out. Oh, actually, her other Zoo Lily order came. She took the jacket upstairs. It was a Roxy jacket, but I went ahead and picked up the fanny pack for her. Because I figured this way when we go places, she can put stuff in there and just wear it on her waist. It's cute. I like it. I wish it came in, in fatty size. I need scissors or something. Let me see. Hold on. Steak knife. Oh, it's St. Patrick's Day. This is green. I don't care what people say. This is green. Now she has her own. She's never really worn sunglasses. I try so hard to get her to wear like sunglasses and stuff like that. Just because I want to be able to protect her eyes and I think they're cute and I love sunglasses. But I got her these ones from Target because I figured her bikini, bikini, it's a tankini. Her uh, little tankini is like these kind of colors of like pink and stuff. So okay, so she can just carry that in her fanny pack. You know, when you're a parent, you live vicariously through your kid. Let's be real. But okay, there's still some stuff that's missing from our Target order. So, yeah, I'll have to see when that gets here. There's stuff I got her. It's just... She's growing up, you know? Ooh, these ones feel different. Nice. So, yeah. I like to do that, though. I always like to shop ahead for her. This way I'm not scrambling last minute to, like, find something. Okay, so that's Target. The next things I got are basically for myself. This one is a eBay purchase. I overpaid my eBay card because the eBay card, I don't know, like it showed that I had a balance. So since I got my refund and stimulus and paid and all that kind of stuff, I went ahead and paid it off. And then I checked it again and it was still showing. So I went ahead and paid it again like a dummy without waiting for the payment to post. So I overpaid. So I had like a credit of like $150 or something. And I'm like, well, it's a sign from God to do a little bit of shopping. So I did. This top is one that I kept seeing in the store and I never bought it. And it's one of those things where you regret it. And so I found it. I've seen it on eBay a few times. But this time I figured, why not? I paid more than I wanted to, but since I had already overpaid my credit card, it felt free, I guess, in some weird warped way. I don't know. I'm trying to improve my money management skills as I'm opening up all these packages. But it's this um, new tag, so that's okay. It's this top that has a cactus on it. It's really soft. I don't really think I'll wear it out. But what I think I'll do is I'll wear it with pajamas. Or just wear it in. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow because it's supposed to be another chilly day tomorrow with some leggings. Because that's what I do now, yo. I wear leggings and... Uh, sweatshirts all day all day every day so that's one ebay purchase and then let's do this one now i have always wanted not always i've wanted quay key quay q u a y sunglasses for a while every time i see them i'm like those are so cute and my sister has a pair of key i think it's pronounced key glasses like just glasses and I thought they were cute so they were having a sale because I was I don't really feel comfortable paying that much money 
I'll pay $40, I guess, for sunglasses. But I think they're regularly priced like $65 or something like that. $69. I paid a lot for my Ray-Bans. But Ray-Bans is like... It's a known brand that's been popular. Like, these are Ray-Bans. These are actually the nicest glasses I've ever gotten for myself. As an adult, too, actually. I really like this ring. I got it from the men's section at Target. Anyways. Um... Ooh, I could keep this for something. Um, I paid a lot of money, like I said, for my Ray-Ban. So that was my first major purchase with my first refund from having a baby. That child tax credit. That first refund, I bought myself a pair of Ray-Bans. And I still have them. I still have them. I have a um, call to get replacement lenses, and then I took them to um, Lens Crafters, one of those places, to get them switched out. This is not the case that they came with. But I love my Ray-Bans. Oh, yeah. I can't see, so I'm going to get super up close right now. Oh, look, you can see, like, everything. I love these. Anyway, so I wanted to try these uh, key sunglasses. Key quick. Just because they were on sale and it's just an itch I've been wanting to scratch for a while. And it's not very often that the government just gives you extra free money. And all of, like I said, all of my debt is paid off. So I got these ones. They always post like pictures of young people. Ooh, I can't really see. I like these. These are cool. These are really cool. From what I can see, it's kind of hard to see because I can 20 over 500. These are cool. Ooh, I'm glad I got these. I was a little afraid because um, the reviews talked about them being a little bit on the flimsy side. But no, these are these are great. I think they still have that. They ship quickly too. I ordered these uh end of last week. So I don't know if I'm a fan of this case though. Happy so far that is good target purchase, good eBay purchase, good key purchase, no regrets so far. So, the next eBay purchase that I did, I like handbags. I have more than I need, and I'm always just looking for that absolutely perfect purse. I like... Middle high end, I guess. Like, I'm not going to buy a, a Louis Vuitton or anything that exorbitant. That's too much. Too much. Uh, I am not in that financial class, I guess. I'm not... I just don't have money, the money for a, a Louis Vuitton or anything that's hundreds of dollars. You know, like that. Or like even, you know, $2,500. Like, that's a no. But... I do have money for a purse that is right around a hundred bucks with tax and shipping. And I saw this guy on eBay, so like I said, I had overpaid. I might like, hear me. I'm like all this rustling. Like I said, I had overpaid my eBay card, so I had this credit. And I had actually purchased a Barbie van for my daughter, but that got canceled. So. I saw this. And I was like, oh, that's really nice. 
That's really nice. Look at this. It's a guest purse. I have not purchased a guest purse in a really long time. In a really long time. The last few purses that I've purchased have been Betsy Johnson's. I like that kind of quirky style. Yeah, Betsy Johnson. Uh, again, on eBay or Poshmark, Macari, those. I don't think, I think the most I paid for one of my Betsy purses was like $60. Yeah, something like that. But this one just, that's cute. They're cute. I like them, you know, I'm not going to say I don't. But sometimes you just want to like be a little extra with your purse choices. And... I love me a good guest purse. I have a few that I had that I still have from like five or six years, no longer than that, like seven or eight years ago. And they hold up pretty well. But I didn't really want a white purse because those are white, like stark white. I wanted like a tan colored purse. The only thing I wish is that it had feet on the bottom because that would help protect it. But look at this. Isn't this like just so classic? So classic, so beautiful. I'm about to put everything in here right now, actually. I'm not even going to pretend like I'm not excited about this. Oops. I need to find my charms. I had like a bunny and a rooster for me and my baby. Well, she's not a baby anymore. She's nine. But I don't know where they are. They're, I know they're on one of my purses. I just have to find which one where's that knife so yeah this purse was actually $89 and then with tax and shipping it came out to a little over $100 so when I figure out all of my debt is paid off I'm fibbing a little bit um, my ebay card has about 70 bucks on it because uh, I also went ahead and bought my boyfriend his birthday present. Almost. There we go. Can I ask what do y'all do with the, with the straps? I never wear I rarely wear handbags as like a shoulder purse not really a fan I don't know if my shoulders are like too slumpy or whatever but it always seems like it's falling off it's just not it's just not something I like I like to carry my purse kind of old ladyish, I guess like this Kind of old lady-ish. Kind of like Sophia Petrillo. You know, I bought scissors over the holidays. <sighs> I put them away. Then my daughter will be like, can I use the scissors for something? And I'm always like, sure. And then I never know what she does with them. So I don't know what my scissors are. I, I don't know what she's watching. It must be funny. I don't know where my scissors are now is what I'm saying. That's okay because you improvise with the steak knife. So this is regularly priced. It doesn't say. But I don't care. I care. A little bit. God, there's like little pieces of plastic everywhere. It's 
just a really simple style, like the shape of it. And then it has this really great, and one more piece of plastic. Look at this. Right here. There we go. Oh my god, all these little pieces of plastic. Okay. But it has like a really simple shape. But I that and then it has like this embossing right here, which I think is really nice. And on the back too. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I think I'm gonna put my stuff in it right now. And I've been carrying this guy. For a minute this yellow Betsy purse this one I also purchased on eBay and when I bought it it came with a shoulder strap that I had my boyfriend um, basically snip off with a pair of pliers like wire you know because I don't like shoulder straps and then I bought these this chain right here on Amazon But I think it's time for just a bit of a change. I like to, I like to change my purses around. I have, um, I think I have paper. Look at this. More paper. Like I said, I have a few that I like to, um, rotate. I like this stuff. Or eBay. It's good for flyaways and, um, why is there crackers in my purse? It's good for, like, flyaways and static hand sanitizer downy wrinkle release I got this as a backup to this because when we went to Las Vegas um, there was static everywhere and it was really frustrating I hate static and hair this I don't think it worked as well as I remember it working so I think I'm just going to spray this on the couch or something. I don't know. My couch doesn't stink, but I really like the smell of downy. Another hand sanitizer. This one's from Victoria's Secret. My Ursula mirror. Lip gloss. This is good. I like this. If you guys... Um, If you guys are in the market for like a matte lipstick, I would recommend these ones from Maybelline. This one is More Blush for $4.99. I'm not going to put it on right now because this, this video is already getting a little bit long. But I like this color. I like this color too. This one is $5.99 more mauve pinks and mauves my favorite colors and then what else do i got in here uh, a little hair cloth and these are little pieces of soap like in here my mom gave me this um i haven't used it because i haven't needed to but it's good to have it's um, just little sheets of soap. You get one, you wet it, and then you wash your hands with it. I got kids, yo. This is the kind of stuff I carry around. Pocket packs. Equate brand. Yes, I'm putting Equate in my guest bag. And then some change from God knows what. So, yeah. I'm going to give this little guy a break. And enjoy carrying your new purse. I think I will carry my sunglasses with me. That's my thing about having a carrying around a slightly larger purse is you end up looking for stuff to put in it. Like another spray. I don't have bad breath, I don't think. Whew. That was a little unexpected. Whoa, but I like that kind of stuff. Cute.
so I like it. Ooh, so far they've all been winners. Okay, so. I don't know what I need this for, but I feel like I should keep it for something. Figure it out. This is my tort order that I was about to call about tomorrow because it showed no movement. It showed that it had been scanned in to the system to be pre-shipped, but then nothing. Like not even right now when she uh, dropped it off, when the UPS lady, yeah, when, uh, when the UPS lady dropped it off, it still didn't even show as delivered. So right now it's still showing as pending. So I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys, but... Like, it's really the first time that it's happened to me. Looks like I got crunched a little bit. But, this is my beachwear for this summer. I had this whole look in my head of, like, being really chic and, um... You know, a black bathing suit, black, uh, a black cover up, black sandals, all that stuff. And then I was like thinking to myself, I have kids that are kind of in this like weird in between age where you're like not really holding their hands, but you're not really letting them wander off by themselves. So if we were to get separated on the boardwalk or something, I would want them to be able to find me. And I really just wanted a hat. What are you doing? Oh, you're coming. Um, I'm just going to get cookies. You know what I mean? Probably today cookies coming. Sorry, people who's walking. Okay, hurry up, please. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Do you not just eat the cream, please. Okay. okay. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Bye, Madame Venture fan. Anyways, this was my tour order that was 40% off plus an extra 15% off. So it was actually a really big order. Bigger than usual, I should say. And this hat was one of the things that I bought. Because who doesn't want a cute hat for the beach? Do I have a really big head? Mm -mm -mm. So, okay. So the hat was regularly priced $30, $29.15. I got it for $13.34 with tax. Okay, so these are swim bottoms. Because I'm getting used to wearing bathing suits. Like I'm almost there where I'll be comfortable enough. But I don't like putting them on and I don't like taking them off, especially when I have to go to the restroom, because especially after they've gotten wet. So I thought, why not why not bathing suit bottoms? I just got them in my usual size of a three. I am not going to try this on right now. Maybe later, maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll do an update. Let me take this off. Ooh, I just ripped the tag off. Okay, so the bathing suit bottoms were $44.50. And I paid $20.09. For the bottoms. Okay. And then I bought this bathing suit top, which I thought was so gorgeous. These colors. I wish they made this in like a, like a t-shirt, like they're super soft. I'm a little bit nervous about wearing this because like I said, I'm barely getting used to wearing a bathing suit, man. And now we're going to go to two-piece. Be brave, girl. Be brave. I keep telling myself, nobody's looking at you. Nobody's looking at you. The only person looking at you is you. But it's this eye cap pattern. I love these colors. It's got like fuchsia and teal and the same green. You see how it's green? Uh, like a buttercup yellow melon color. It's gorgeous. I love it. 
but this is regularly priced. I just saw the tag and I was fine. Let me see if I can hear it. Or feel it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Really priced $59.50. Wow. I paid $26.91. I think it's really cute. I think it's really cute. I don't know what she... <laughs> I really do not know what she's watching. And then, uh, this is not a bathing suit. This is just a shirt, a sweater. That I just, I love these kind of open knits. I'm a little bit nervous because it's a shorter length. Yeah, see my shirt. Oh no, I guess it's about as long as my sweatshirt. But I just, I think it's so pretty. So pretty. Tomorrow, I'm taking my daughter to the dentist. So maybe I'll wear it tomorrow with some, with my jeans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll wear this tomorrow. And then uh, I bought myself a pair of flip-flops for the beach. Because, um, you know, 